filter self oscillation. Now this happens when we are accentuating the frequencies at the cutoff point with the resonance or emphasis and we accentuate them to the point where they begin to oscillate. That is those frequencies um, create a standing wave. Which we can hear is that high pitched note. Incidentally, this is the same sort of thing that was happening with Lee DeForest's audion tube that led to the discovery of the possibility of oscillators in the first place. So to hear this, let's take oscillator one out of the mix. So all we're hearing is the self oscillation of the filter. Um, so that's the pitch. No matter what key you play, you're gonna get that pitch. Unless we go over here to keyboard control. Now keyboard control's function generally is to affect the way that the cutoff frequency works so that there are darker sounds at the low end of the keyboard and brighter sounds at the high end of the keyboard, which was a sort of embarrassing effort for synthesizer designers to try and emulate what happens with acoustic instruments because acoustic instruments tend to have less high frequency in the low end of the sounds they produce and more high frequency in the high end of the sounds they produce, like with a piano or a guitar or whatever. So this keyboard control is a control voltage which is applied to the keyboard and, and how the keyboard affects the filter cutoff point to emulate the way that acoustic instruments act. But in our case, we can apply it to the filter in a way that allows us to actually play that self oscillation that's happening in the emphasis. By turning both of these on, now the keyboard is controlling the cutoff frequency in a relationship that is just like musical notes. And as the cutoff frequency is raised, it's raised in half steps, just like an oscillator is normally controlled. Basically, what this does is makes it so that the keyboard controls the filter like an oscillator in the same way as oscillators to generate pitches so we can play it. And then we can play this sine wave that's being generated by the filter going into self-oscillation through excessive emphasis or resonance. If we turn down the filter cutoff frequency, we'll get a lower pitch for that self-oscillation. And so that's really cool because then all of a sudden we have a sine wave output, which we don't have in the oscillator section. Now we can play a sine wave. And if we want to, we can play it along with the oscillators themselves, which is basically adding a, another oscillator at the expense of the filter, but still. Usually we have to tune it to the oscillator, but this time we didn't. By tuning the self oscillation in the filter to a different pitch than that which is coming out of the oscillator, we can create uh, basically uh, intervals which end up sounding somewhat organ-like like this. And we can, you know, create whatever intervals we'd like by adjusting the cutoff frequency. Sometimes the pitches don't match up and it makes actually cool timbres. The scaling of the cutoff frequency of the filter as compared to the scaling of the pitches of the oscillators may be different and then they don't quite line up. But in this case, we've found a way to make it line up.